Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans. Alright, in the last episode, we began the next chapter, and unfortunately, the Ox King's Castle is on fire. Something to do about a magic furnace? And we have to go to this place, the Mount 5 Element, or Mount 5 Element. That's not going to leave the door wide open for us. Yeah, I think that's a magic furnace if the, um, if that there is green. Might need to deal with that. Like, in a hurry. Head ghoul. I'm sorry, I see like a full body, not just a head. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, did I get blinded? I think I got blinded. Well, still one. So apparently sleep is not the issue I'm going to have here. Wait, this is not going to break. Oh wait, it will break. It's orange. That's right, it's white I need to worry about. Because I'll need to up my key blast to another level. Oh great. Giant Bam, well I fought Giant Bass before. Demon Denizen is new. Oh! Demon denizens can revive other enemies. That is going to be a hassle. And I got blinded again! So every enemy here blinds you? Is that what's happening? I'm already blinded and it's increasing its evasion for real. Okay, that thing needs to go first. Like, it's seriously gotta go now. Otherwise, enemies will constantly get revived. I don't know if you get two lots of experience for that. So maybe what I should do... I should actually leave, go back to East City, buy me something that resists darkness. If I got enough money, I should have enough money, right? Maybe it wasn't East City. I think it was West City. Never mind. Well, that's a bad start, not being prepared. But then again, how was I supposed to know that was the ailment I had to worry about? A yeah, dark ring. There we go. That's what we need. I think if I wear that, we should be okay. Take out the sleep ring, put on the dark ring. Perfect. I keep forgetting it's over this way. Alright, let's try this again. This time with less fail. Oh! Lantern Ghost, that's a new enemy. I guess I'm close to a level up, too. And these guys are so fragile. Level up! Let's see, add more recovery. And you know what, let's add more defense. Oh, I got some key drinks. That's gonna be valuable. Right, same drill as before. Luckily, demon denizens, or pretty much any enemy here, can get down in one standard attack. So I can just conserve my key if I have to. That is very helpful. Tension up. Oh wait, that's an accessory? Makes the Rage Gauge fill up faster. Uh, I kind of like the Fighter's Mark, so let me keep that. I get Rage pretty quick anyway, so... God, this doesn't even look like what a furnace should look like. 
Just so I throw that out there. Good, now I resist darkness. Easily. That's gonna do us a hell of a lot more. This music is so haunting. What well, luck fruit. Don't mind if I do. Nom 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 nom. Oh god, they're both blinded! That is pretty damn good luck! Yeah, we're just cruising through these demons. But what's my AP now? 292. Not bad, but could be better. I'm better off going after the one that's not blinded. You just whack me with a lantern? Are you serious? That's your motif now? I wonder you guys are ghosts. You probably suck that much in life, too. <laughs> HP capsule 50. Eh, it's fine. Whoa! Gogio Majin! That's a new enemy! Well, that was anticlimactic. Expected a little bit more. Okay, this must be the furnace itself. Okay, this way leads to treasure. Okay, I see another one of those capsule pads. Then I might as well go all out with my key. So they'll get it all back anyway. Yeah. Oh, I can't get up there. Oh, well, so much for that idea. Guess we'll have to go the long way. Works for me. I can always use a scenic route once in a while. Gotta get my steps in. <laughs> Evil Containment Stone? What is that? I think it's an accessory? Gives you a chance to avoid instant kill attacks. I haven't really seen any instant kill attacks yet. Watch now as soon as I say that. Oh, here's an instant kill move! Well, you should have wore that accessory now, did ya? Huh? Okay, so you can still get blinded. It just takes a little while for it to work, that's all. Oh, I wanna get that chest first. A full ring? What is a full ring? Raises all parameters by two. Uh, sure. I'll wear the full ring. That covers a little bit of everything. Well, I guess I can't really test how much damage it does if I miss every hit. That's still pretty good. Level up again! Okay, more power and more... I'll go with more technique to make the Kamehameha better. Okay, here we go. That's what I was looking for. A place to save my game. I can level up so fast in this. Oh, you again, huh? I think you're worthy of only combination attack. And it lived through that, of course. Should've went back to the Kamehameha. Oh, right, I forgot you need to uh, kill this guy first. Oh, damn. 
Just threw like all the swords at me. Okay, at least it's still a pushover. Nice. I don't think the shortcut stays open permanently, though. So it might be a bit pointless to break that. Then again, I did have to walk by it. Never mind. <laughs> I'm surprised that Agar still worked. Oh, it's raising its defense. Well, it doesn't matter. It was like one hit from being beaten anyway. Okay, this must be it. This is a big room. Wow! This is the Magical Furnace? Man, it's huge! That's what she said. Annan! You there? Who on earth would you be? How am I supposed to sleep with all this racket? Are you Annan? Annan? I haven't heard anyone call me by that in a while. But yes! Yes, I am Annan! Listen, there's something I need you to do. Put out the furnace's fire for me. What? You want me to quell the flames? Daddy's surrounded by the furnace's fire. He's trapped. Daddy? Who are you anyway? My name's Chi Chi, daughter of the Ox King. The Ox King lives on Fire Mountain? Hmm. That's the mountain behind this one, isn't it? That must mean there's a hole or something at the bottom of the furnace. Okay, I'll fix it. Please! You gotta put out the fire! I can't do that! Why not? Shutting the furnace down would cause chaos both here and in the other world. Do you want that? I'd, it'd certainly be interesting to say the least, but... It'd cause chaos? Please! We need to put out the furnace before it's too late! You want to see the world messed up that much, do you? If that fire isn't put out, the Ox King's gonna burn to death! Come on, you need to help! Save my father for me! So you want to pledge the world into turmoil in order to save a single man's life? I... I don't know, okay? Just tell me how to shut off the furnace already! Heavens! You certainly have a lot of spunk, at least. You want to shut the furnace down? Just turn the knob there all the way down. That'll put it out for sure, I guarantee. Before that, though, let me test you to see how serious you really are. Oh, of course we had to have a fight. It's never that easy. Oh, yeah, she hits hard. Oh god, she even used her crown against me. Alright, so far so good. Now that I'm actually getting the hang of the timing, we should be able to win. Oh, I wonder what that does. Does it inflict darkness? That would be nasty to have happen right now at a time like this. God, how many more hits can she take? She can just keep on going. I say one more Kamehameha should do it. 
No? She's still going? Alright, I better eat a bean. Nice, it's still resisting. I can throw my after image to go off. Nice, she's down. I didn't even need that bean. Okay, now that I'm level up, I'm gonna go with luck. And I'm thinking defense. I wonder if there's an option to just lower the flames. Ugh. Look up! Above the pot! Do you see all the steam rising up from it? Yeah. That steam turns into fog and settles at the top of the mountain. And that's where the problem lies here, Goku. What? The fog? Uh-huh. If the furnace shuts down, that fog's gonna disappear too. So what? That fog's actually the portal between this and the other world. Everyone that dies in this world goes through that fog to the outer world. And people in the other world can come back through at times to see their kids and so on. But with the furnace off, the fog's going to lift. The souls of the dead or visiting won't be able to make it to the other world anymore. The world will be filled with wandering, vengeful souls. It'll plunge the entire world into a panic, don't you see? Well, why don't we just turn the furnace off for a little bit, Ennin? Just enough to keep the steam from going completely away. Sorry, no dice. Why not? Once the furnace is extinguished, it takes over 2,000 years to start it up again. It'll be a dark, dark era for those millennia. Does that sound like something you want? Well, how can we keep the flames from shooting out from the surface? Come on, you gotta help us! There has to be some way! Well, there is one method. Have you ever seen one of these before? Is that a Bancho fan? Whoa! The Bancho fan! Well, lady, you had it the whole time! Um, lady, you say? Listen, kid, who do you think I am, anyway? I am Anon, the Great Overseer. I have guarded this furnace for thousands of years! Whoa! Thousands of years? Man, you aren't a lady! You're an old grandma! Oh my god, Goku. You have, like, no social skills at all. You little brat! There are some things better left unsaid, you know. Uh, yeah. She big. What? You wanna find me again or what? <laughs> Oh, I'm already fully aware of your skill by this point, thanks. Great, Annan! Tell us how we can save Daddy already! Yeah, we got the Banjo Fan. You have to wave it three times and it'll rain. You'll need more than the Banjo Fan to put the furnace out. You'll also need to, something to plug the hole at the bottom of the furnace. Oh! What? Is that it? Well, I'll go fetch whatever you need. I'm afraid what we need is not so easily obtainable. It's not? So, what is it then? The bottom of the furnace is made from the shells of the eggs laid by the Fire Eater Bird. The... the Fire Eater Bird? That's right. So we'll need a shell to plug the hole with. And we'll need honey from an octagonal beehive to hold the shell in place, too. So much complication. Wow. So an eggshell and some honey, huh? So, where can we find these things, Anon? The Fire Eater Bird lives on Kiwi Volcano, I think. And as for the honey, er... As for the honey? 
I've forgotten. I haven't needed any for thousands of years, you see. I'd be willing to bet Master Roshi would know, though. Oh! You made the turtle hermit? Alright. I'll go off and find that shell and the honey for you. Good. Try to be as quick as you can about it. We'll need those two things before we can do anything else. And she just kicks me out. <laughs> Alright, first off, we gotta go to Kami Island. Or Kami House. Hey! Hey, Turtle Hermit! Could you tell me where there's an eight-sided beehive at? Ah, Goku! What on earth have you been up to? I try to get married and all of a sudden, like, uh, my father-in-law is about to die. You know, normal stuff. Ah, I see. Well, I heard there's a lady named Akake who collects that honey. She lives near Mount Frappe. Thanks, Pops. Guess that's where I'm going next. Chi-Chi, you better stay here. Goku? Can't even imagine what kind of danger I'm going to be facing from here on in. I can't afford to have you exposed to all of that. Okay. But are you sure you're going to be okay by yourself, Goku? No problem. I can handle the search easy. Wait! Huh? I heard the whole story, Goku. If Chi-Chi's dad is in trouble, then there's no way I'm not going to help too. Hey, I'm not going to let you hog all the limelight. Take me along too, Goku. Krillin and Yamcha? Well, sorry guys, but... Hold on a minute, Goku. You better not be forgetting about me. Tien! Right, let's get moving. There isn't a single moment to waste. A fire eater's bird shell and some honey, eh? It'll be a cinch with all of us helping. S combo dictionary is now available. You can now view your S combos via the crystal ball in the menu. This S combo dictionary lets you view all of the S combo notes you required. These notes contain hints on how you can put S combos together into bigger combos. There are S combos hidden uh, combo notes hidden around the world. Try to find them all. Okay, well, let's try this out then. Ah, here we go. So, Charging Rush. Okay, so it just requires, like, all kinds of combos. Rush Blast requires a combo and a Key Blast. Hyper Rush is, like, all three people doing combos. Hyper Blast is two combos and a Key Blast. Saiyan Attack we don't have. That we don't have. We don't have that. That. Okay, we just need a Yamcha, Yamcha using Spirit Ball. And then, well, I guess we need to find the rest of the note. Okay, so Kamehameha and whatever the other two moves are. And we don't even know who the other two characters are that need to use this. Okay, so what are the ones I did get? Huh. Well, I suppose I can always just experiment with moves. And if I use the right ones, it should still work. Okay, so Yamcha is back there. Okay, I can just rearrange things. Actually, let me talk to uh, Master Roshi and them. Oh, I can buy stuff from Oolong. Huh, <laughs> Oolong's nose. Helps you find treasures in the map. That's 50,000 though, that's pretty high. I'm actually not gonna buy any accessories for now. I'll buy a stun recovery. And yeah, that'll be it. 
Akagi's got the honey. She's on Mount Frappe in the mountains to the north. Kiwi Volcano is on an island to the south, though. That's where the Fire Eater birds live. Oh, congratulations on getting married. Well, we still gotta sort that out first. Okay, so where is the island I gotta go to? I thought it was to the south. There's Mount Frappe. And there's the other island over there, Kiwi Volcano. So we can't go to these places in any given order. Hold on, I gotta test something out first. Let's take a look at something. Yamcha is 76 AP. I gotta remember that. 76. That's an important number. Oh right, I gotta remember, now I gotta use like X and B again. Okay, so people can still gain experience doing this. Oh, Krillin's only at level 9 now. He's gotta catch up. Okay, your recovery is awful. So let me up your speed, too. Wait, hold on. Let me get in one more fight. Do people in reserve gain the same amount of experience as the people in the front? don't know. Okay, let's see. People in the front gained 44 experience. Yamcha only gained like 13. Oh, that's pretty low. So they only gained like maybe a third of the experience or even less than that. But at least they still gain stuff, just not as much. Okay, up your defense, and then your power. Okay, that's good to know that we can still get stats for people. It just won't be much. Regardless of who's in the party or not. But yeah, this is the first time we actually have more than three people in the party at one given time. Alright, so I guess I'll stop the video here. Well, hold on, before... Oh wow, that's the threshold? For real? Actually, let me take a look at Tien, for instance. Evil Containment Wave seals enemies into a rice cooker. Higher chances of success on weakened enemies. Oh, okay. Before I end the episode, I would like to try that out. I went to the wrong place. Let's go back to Mount Paozu, because at least I get in fights right away. I'm gonna let Krillin attack this one, because at least he's still weak. Oh, I forgot I still need the rice cooker equipped. Do I have the rice cooker equipped? I don't think I do. work? It worked! Nice! We actually captured a monster. In a rice cooker of all things. Okay, I gotta look in the crystal ball. Enemy info. Wait a minute, it says 1 out of 150. Oh, I see. And it tells you if you capture that monster or not. So therefore... We pretty much have to capture all 150 enemies, if we can. It won't let you capture bosses, though. So the 150 are just standard enemies. Oh, that's gonna be very annoying to capture all of these guys. That might be needed for some side quest. Who knows, I'm, that might be something I do in my spare time. Cause there's no way I'm gonna want to capture all 150 enemies on screen. That would be ridiculous. Anyway, let me stop the video here, and in the next episode, we shall uh, continue on. Probably go to Mount Frappe first. See everybody. Thanks for watching.